have my Valentine, John Cusimano, my mm. husband, joining us today. Uh, we have a very special in-studio audience uh, today because every single person in this audience is half of a couple. All of our audience are couples. And some of our couples with us today have been here more than 60 years. That's amazing. Wow. They're like your folks. Yeah, they've been together. Something. They got married in 1964. Yeah, his folks have been together a real long time, too. John and I have been together about 20 years. We've been married, um, 14 of them. Yes. Uh, but do you remember when, when we met? How could I forget? We got Please. invited uh, to a mutual person we knew's birthday party. So this person had told us about a year before we actually met at this party that you got to meet this person and I got to meet this person. And we kind of ignored her because we were just happy being single or whatever. So then finally we well, go we to- we didn't think that this person would know the type of person that we would like. Right, we right. didn't sh think she we was- We didn't trust her advice. We didn't trust her matchmaking skills. Right. So we ended up going to this party together. We didn't know each other. We met and this person- Everybody at the party was, was super tall. Right, this person was a tall person and she invited all of her ex-boyfriends and people she knew and they were all tall. And as you can see, we're you know not all that tall. <laughs> So, I like to say we saw each other among a sea of knees. That's true. And we crossed a crowded room and started talking, and we have talked every day since the night we met. We did. <laughs> We're celebrating Valentine's Day with an audience full of couples, and that was Mark and Tanya. Here they are to our right in our studio audience. Did you guys hear our story? Yeah, ours I thought was the worst, but I think you might have topped yeah, it have for bad proposals. Ever. John <laughs> threw my ring at my head. He was trying to get me to stop crying. She and was crying because our apartment was under construction and wasn't going to be ready for the holidays for our was families. Coming for dinner, and I so had no place to you put You had them. a meltdown, so I just wanted her to stop crying, so I threw the ring at her head. <laughs> it was in a uh, blue box, not to say where it came from, but it was a blue box. <laughs> and she thought it was a key ring because we just got this new apartment, and it wasn't. Yeah. And then she screamed, and I said something which, at the time, I thought was very charming, but I have no idea what I said. It, it's out of my brain. Well, I have to say, honey, you know, I'm still alive. You could, you could do a redo one of these days. We did. We got remarried. Yeah, we got remarried, but I don't remember getting a reproposal. Oh, I'm going to have to do that now, am I? I don't know. I'll do it.